Hey guys, Chris here, one of the common ones. And today we're going to discuss the anterior pelvic tilt. So I have a diagram here, and we're going to look at just the pelvis today. And you'll see that this is a normal angle to pelvis. For males, it's 4 to 7 degrees, and for females, it's 7 to 10 degrees. And you'll see when someone has an anterior pelvic tilt, the pelvis tilts forward, anterior, and for males, it's going to be greater than 7 degrees of a tilt, and for females, it's going to be greater than 10 degrees of a tilt. So if you've been following the series I've been doing, the lower abdominal series, then you'll realize that we've actually been doing that, those exercises to help bring the pelvis back into balance, back into a normal pelvic tilt, because most people's society have their anterior pelvic mm -hmm. tilt. Um, then there's a bunch of possible reasons for it. Uh, so let's go down the list. We have weak lower abdominals, so it's TVA, just like we have did in the lower abdominal series. Uh, two is imbalanced workout routine. Three, we have machine training, and then four, poor eating habits, and uh, you know, inflammation of the gut. So let's discuss all those right now. So to correct, number one, we have properly trained the TVA lower abdominal muscles. Again, we did that in the last series, the lower abdominal series. So you want to start from, remember, start from phase one and work your way up through the entire series to properly correct that imbalance down there. Um, so two, we have balanced the workout. So lower abdominal versus upper abdominal. Most, most people in the gym are gonna be working out upper abdominal, doing a lot of crunches, um, sit-ups, everything like that, just train upper abdominals, and they, they'll probably do some planks, but incorrectly, um, doing planks in this posture, as opposed to in this posture, so you'll see that butt hike up a bit, you see the pelvis just start to tilt forward, because they had that weakness down there. Uh, let's see, so use of more free weights and body weight training. Uh, a lot of people, when they use machine training, the inner unit muscles don't have to work to stabilize the body, because the machine does that for them, so they're using a lot of outer unit muscles. So, so on any unit, we're talking about again TBA, multifidus, all the muscles in the body that help to stabilize the body during that, during that, during those motions of say pushing, pulling, bending, squatting, lifting, twisting. Okay, and then we have also macronutrient balance for the diet. So when we get like the information in the gut, what happens is it actually shuts down the function of the TBA. So the, the, no matter how strong your lower abdominals or TBA are, it's not gonna be able to function properly, which is gonna create that imbalance. So you'll see people after they eat, they'll be stuffed and then they'll come back right into this posture here with those hips just forward like that. And then you're gonna see like the stomach just come out, just poke out like you see here in the diagram. Um, so again, you just wanna make sure that if you hit these four things here, you'll probably be pretty good but you just wanna make sure that you check off that list. So again, look at, are you training your lower abdominals properly? Uh, do you have a balanced workout routine? So again, like a push-pull, or you know, working out your legs properly. Uh, machine training, try to stay away from too much machine training. A little bit's not too bad, but as long as you know how to use your core properly, then it's not too bad, and breathing. Uh, and then also the poor eating habits. So just stay away from foods that, like, uh, foods that you're irritable against. So. You know, if you eat something and you have to go to the bathroom right away or just upset your stomach, then that's something you want to stay away from. All right. So, you know, again, check off this list and that should help you to correct any anterior pelvic tilt that you have going on. Thanks.